You might think of a hacker as a mysteriously hooded antisocial computer genius in some dark room cracking cybersecurity systems open in mere minutes. That's how we envision it, right? And as uh, KSL's Mac Gephardt explains here, artificial intelligence has busted that old stereotype. 37. That is the average age of people arrested for a crime in the United States, according to the FBI. But when you're talking about jailed cyber criminals, the average age drops way down to just 19 years old. We think in, in 2025, there's going to be a lot more teen hackers out there. Artificial intelligence is driving that trend in a big way, says Michael Brummer, who spearheads experienced data breach efforts. In its new study shared with the KSL investigators, experience says that teens are using AI to help with their hacking and for creating deep fakes along with other fraudulent attacks. And they are getting recruited by hackers based here and abroad. Teens are in chat rooms, they're on the dark web, they're on gaming platforms. So the nation states and the gangs that want to recruit those teens can easily find them. Brummer says the growth of AI-driven fraud has more governments and businesses moving towards what's called dynamic identification. Just means that you have continuous refresh of barcodes, QR codes, or anything that's alphanumeric. And this prevents unauthorized duplication you may have encountered it already. Some concert tickets are already using dynamic barcodes. Brummer says it's not too far-fetched to expect the same technology to be adopted for things like social security numbers and driver licenses. It can't be hacked. It can't be shared. One finding that offers maybe a little silver lining of consolation for consumers is experience says that hackers are increasingly targeting each other, either for money or for political reasons. If you got something you want me to look into, let me know about it at the number 385-707-6153, or you can email me, Matt, at ksl.com. Yeah.